Hey everybody, I'm back from work after my Pokemon Home video a little earlier and I'm here to show you and answer you some very important questions that a lot of you are going to have on your mind. We're going to start with a basic question which is what Pokemon can actually enter Pokemon Sword and Shield right now as of its release? The second one is what if they're hacked? Understandably guys, a lot of you guys would have gotten Pokemon from the other past games that were obviously like shiny or perfect IVs or something and they're so blatantly clearly hacked. You're going to be thinking, well what What if I wanted to keep them? Am I going to be able to transfer them to home? Am I going to get banned? Blah blah blah. Uh, the answer is, well, well let's find out. <laughs> okay, so here, I haven't actually bought the thing yet. I will though, I promise. Um, I'm going to connect my, my Pokemon, my shield right here. Now, these Pokemon in here are, well, these are all the forms you can get, okay? You can get all the Cantonian forms of Pokemon that are in the game. So, Coughing as well, regular Weezing. Uh, you can get the Starters, the Bulbasaur and Squirtle. You can get the Hat Pikachu. There's a ton of Hat Pikachus. I don't know, like eight or nine or something. They're uh, all over there. And you can transfer them in. We're going to transfer them all in, guys. We're going to transfer just to show. We're gonna transfer this whole box in. Okay, let me see if I can do this. I can mass do it, right? So yeah, you can mass do things like this, which is pretty sweet. We're gonna go ahead and mass transfer all of those Pokemon in. Melt, oh, 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 Meltan can't be transferred in yet. It's not, it hasn't been released, which is fine. That's fine. Uh, let's get rid of that. Let's put that back. And there's another one as well. Let me see with my cam filter. <coughs> so actually, guys, even I was just wrong. Literally, what I just said was wrong. The question mark makes it very is worded very carefully to make it look like you can't actually bring those in. But actually, I did trade it in, and here it is. I don't know why the question mark says the number of transferable Pokemon are going to be reduced because it's right here, guys. I transferred it right in. It's fine. You can transfer it in. So guys, this Meltan is right out of my Let's Go Pikachu game. This shiny Malmetal, however, is a hacked Pokemon. And as you saw me opening the game right here, I had this transferred into Pokemon Home just fine. A lot of these Pokemon are hacked. A lot of them are. And that's, that's, there's no problem. This one isn't, this is the gift. There's been no problem, guys, with me transferring them into Home and saving. There's no problem with me transferring them back into Shield and saving. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. That Mel Metal, however, is from my Pokemon Home. Let's just show you me transferring them all the way back as well, just to make sure you guys have no doubts. I'm gonna transfer all of these Pokemon right on back in as well. Let's do that. Okay, here's... Okay, so here's the box. Uh, let's go ahead and do like mass select. I'm gonna select all of these. I'm gonna throw these in here. Can I? Yeah, I can do something like this, okay. Don't forget the ones behind my camera. There we go. A bunch of them are hacked, guys. And we're going to go ahead and save save and exit. There's no problems whatsoever, okay? So even though you can transfer over hacked Pokemon and save it and exit and no problems will arise, the thing is, guys, I think what Pokemon are going to be targeting are people who actually do the hacking. I haven't hacked anything myself. If anyone's going to get banned, they're going to be looking at altered saved data, okay? I don't have any altered saved data. I have hacked Pokemon. I don't have altered saved data. And altered saved data is done through PK Hex, where you, on your computer, through your Switch, are altering the data to create that Pokemon. That's not mine. That's not you as well, most of you guys, either. So the Pokemon you've gotten in, in Wonder Trays as well are fine. Now, let's look at the full list of all the Pokemon that you can actually get right away, legitimately without hacks or without anything from other games. Here's a list of all the Pokemon you can get right now. You can get all the Cantonian starters, you can get the Mewtwo, you can get that from Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee as well. As well as this, guys. Um, they did say you can get a Mew if you buy a new Pokeball for Pokemon Sword and Shield. However, if you had Pokemon Let's Go, uh, Pikachu or Eevee, and you get a Mew from that ball, you can get it, you can get it in the game and you can get it to, you can transfer that too as well. You can get Celebi, you can get Jirachi, you can get these guys too, you can get the Dragons, you can get Keldeo, you can get the Gen 7 starters too. You can get the Legendaries as well, and you can get the Mythicals and this as well. 
as you can see, Mel Metal is transferable, and the Alolan versions as well, which and the Cantonian versions as well, which I was giving away yesterday, guys, and all the hatted Pikachus too. That's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hatted Pikachus available. That's all the Pokemon you can get right now, transfer from your old games, and use legitimately, safely, in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Hopefully that answers a lot of your guys' questions about like the issue of, oh, will I get banned if they're hacked? Oh, I don't know if they're hacked or not me. Hopefully that's all okay, guys. And even if you're really, really extra worried about that, I just showed you a list of Pokemon you can get in the game the old-fashioned way and transfer over to Pokemon Bank and then transfer over to Pokemon Home. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to drop a sub if you want all the latest, sweetest Pokemon content. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!